Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Hussain, content creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Once again, I welcome to all of you in my YouTube channels. Today, I'm going to solve here sample creative question for the students of standard six. Just I have receiving so many questions that please upload the content of the solution of sample creative questions in my Facebook and also YouTube link. So inshallah today we will try to solve here two creative questions from arithmetic side. Inshallah in the next content we will try to solve remaining question. So let's see the question then we will try to answer up to last. So here sample creative question from the chapter six. Uh, there are two questions. Uh, first questions, how we going to market with 80 quintals of chicken, onions and potato. He sold 35 quintals of chicken for taka, 250.75 per kg and 25 quintals of onion per ethotaka kg and potato for ethotaka per kg. So in the first attention you have to give here, the information is given in the quintal, but the price is given per kg. So that means you have to convert the quintal into kg. Otherwise, you cannot do the calculation. Each and every information, selling price is given per kg, but the quantity is given here quintal. So you have to give attention. First question, convert the 80 quintal into kg or kilogram. How many quintals of potato did he sell? And how much money did he get by selling the chicken and onion? Number D, uh, he bought a bike an amount of 135,000 from his total money. How much will he left with him? So this is the first question. After completing this one, we will try to answer the second question. Now we can start with the answer of the first question. The convert 80 quintals into kg. That means we have to know what is the relation in between quintal and kg. One quintal equal to 100 kg. So 80 quintal will be 100 multiplied 80 kg. This is the answer of first questions. Uh, second question here, uh, find the amount of potato. That means there are two items are given. The first item, he sold chicken, which is amount is 35 kg and onion is 25 kg. That means chicken and onion together is the 60 kg. So here remaining is potato because there are total three items. The two items quantity uh, is 35 kg and 25 kg. That means remaining uh, potato will be total minus the two chicken and onion. So the total 20 kg is the potato. So I think now this is answer. And the second question, uh, selling price, total selling price of chicken and another one is onion. So total selling price. Okay, first convert the quintal into kg. Chicken is at the quintal and convert it into kg, multiply with the 100. So in the question, selling price of one kg chicken is at the definitely selling price of at the kg. Do the multiplication carefully. You will get here 8,77,625 taka. Now onion is item given here 25 quintals convert into the kg. His kg price is at the taka. So definitely uh, 2,500 kg and it's Price is 63,125. So uh, now find the total price of the chicken and onion. Just do the add carefully. There will be 9,40,750 taka. Now, after selling these three items, he bought a bike, 1,35,000 taka. And just now the requirement is find the left amount remaining with him. So uh, from B, we get amount of the potato is 20 quintal. That means 20 means 20 multiply 100. That is 2000 kg. One kg selling price 12.15 taka. Definitely 2000 kg price will be multiply. It's now 24,300 taka is the selling price of potato. 
uh, from B, sorry, from C, uh, the total selling price of chicken and onion is at Otaka. So there's a selling price of two items, selling price of one item. So doing add, we will get here selling price of three items. So now, here are the selling price of three items. Just do add here chicken and onion, then the potato, total nine lakh. 65,050 taka. Okay, this is the total selling price. Now he will bought a bicycle. So he will bought a bike, 135,000 taka. So from the total amount, uh, 135,000 taka will be reduced. So remaining or left amount, 830,050 taka. And this is the answer of the question number D, remaining amount. So now uh, let's see the second question. First question is done. Second questions from the chapter two. The ratio of the ages of father and son is 70 ratio, seven ratio two, and some of their ages is 54 years. There are two information are given, age ratio, total age. Uh, first question, total marks two, inverse ratio, definition. An example of the inverse ratio, uh, which is also related with the given ratio. That means given ratio, you have to change into the inverse ratio. Now, first question answer, define inverse ratio and convert the given ratio into the inverse ratio. So uh, here, if the ratio is formed by interchanging the antecedents and subsequent of the simple ratio, then it's called the inverse ratio. That means if we change antecedent to subsequent, subsequent to antecedent, so any simple ratio is changes to the inverse ratio. The given ratio according to the quotient requirement, change the given ratio into inverse ratio. Antecedent, first one is antecedent, changes to subsequent, seven changes here subsequent and subsequent changes to antecedent. First one is called antecedent, second one is called subsequent. So just change their position. This one will be the inverse ratio. So now equivalent ratio of the given ratio. Find the two equivalent ratio of the given ratio. Uh, given ratio seven is to two, it's equivalent ratio definitely by multiplying with the same number. If we multiply antecedent and subsequent with the same number, just we can find the equivalent ratio and also dividing antecedent and subsequent by the same number, uh, we can find the equivalent ratio. So here seven and two, both are prime number. We cannot divide by any other number. That is, this is not possible to uh, find any equivalent ratio after dividing antecedent and subsequent because both are the prime numbers. So now another option, we have to multiply with the same number. In the first case, we have multiplied with the two. Also, you can multiply with three, four, five, six, no problem, but you have to multiply with the same number, both antecedent and subsequent. So here seven multiply with the two, that is the 14 and two multiply also by two, 14 ratio, four. So antecedent and subset, this is one answer. Another answer we have multiplied here, three, both antecedent and subsequent. So this is the two example of the equivalent ratio of seven is to two. Uh, question number three, another important question. Uh, so find the ages of father and son. Here, their age ratio is given here and their total age is given here. So in case of the ratio, first step, we have to add the quantities of the ratio, seven is to two, seven plus two equals to nine. So in nine, the first quantity for father, in nine, out of nine, second quantity for son. So out of nine, father age is seven. Out of nine, father age is seven. So out of 54, the father age will be divided by 54 divided by nine, there is six, six multiplied seven, 42. So that means father age is 42 years. In the same way, out of nine, son age is two. So out of 54, 
do the divide six, six to the 12 years. That means present age of father is 42 years and son is 12 years. Uh, question number C, what will be there show that their age ratio will be three is to one after three years. After three years, their age ratio, that means father age ratio, son age will be three is to one. So now uh, this is their present age from the question number C, father present age and son present age. So after three years, father age will be present age plus three. That means 45 years, son age is 12 plus three. That means 12 is the present age plus three, 15 years. So after three years, their age ratio, that means father age ratio, son age, uh, 45 ratio, 15, both are divided by the 15. You will get here three and one. Also, you can write like this, 45 divided, a ratio 15, also you can write in the way like 45 divided by 15. First step, you can divide by three, there will be 15. And this is now five. So now 15, five now divided by five, five ones are five, five three. That is the three by one is three ratio one. So in the same way also you can do this one, but directly we have divided both antecedent and subsequent by 15, that is the three is to one, which is our requirement, find their age ratio. That means this is the new age ratio of father and son. So dear students, I think this is now very clear to all of you and you have to practice so many questions like this, but exact question will not come in the exam, but similar question you have to answer. So dear student, thank you so much. If you, are, if you have any question, uh, please let me know. Inshallah, I will try to answer the uh, question number three and question number four as soon as possible. And so thank, let's inshallah, hope to see you all in the next classes. Wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.